friends, I'm back, and tonight I'm going to show you how I do a beautiful herb roasted tur uh, turkey thighs. So, right here's my nice pan I'm going to put them in. And I'm just going to lay them right in here so I can work with them. Too. These are beautiful, and they're all thought out, just gorgeous. Okay, so, it's more like a butter herbed roasted chicken. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Anyway, okay, first thing first is I've got some butter here, and just a couple, I cut it in small pats, but I'm going to lift the skin on this turkey, and I'm going to put a pat there, and a little pat down in there, okay? Same with this side, I got another two of them on here. This stuff is going to be wonderful. Now this isn't out of my cookbook, but by all means there is a recipe in there called butter chicken, which you can replace the turkey with. Can't okay, wash my hands. You have to treat turkey the very same as chicken and wash everything you touch with it. All right. Okay, so first thing first, got to make sure my hands are real good and dry. I'm going to do a little onion powder, and I'm not measuring. I'm just sprinkling it on there. This is going to be beautiful, okay? A little bit of garlic powder. Again, uh, you know what? If you wanted to me me to measure, it would probably be about, about a good teaspoon, probably about a half a teaspoon on each thigh, okay? And then I've got some beautiful paprika. I love this. This is smoked paprika, and this stuff is fantastic. Okay, just sprinkle that on. And I would have to guess about the, uh, probably a good table, or not tablespoon, teaspoon on each one. Okay, and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of parsley on it. I love that stuff. All right. So there's for my spices. And of course, you know me and my pepper. Got to have pepper. Now I got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Okay? And I also have an onion. And I'm going to bake this and some potatoes with this. Because that will be wonderful. Okay. I'm just going to put that down in there. Just like so. Okay. I'm not going to use the other half. I'm going to wrap the other half up. Okay. Now my potatoes. I'm just going to quarter them. And lay them around. On here. This makes a beautiful meal. Just lovely. And it's good if you don't want to make a great big turkey dinner either. You can do this. You can always do this with a little stuffing in it too. It'd be wonderful. Now I don't want to cover the turkey up with the potatoes. All right, so there's that. Those will roast beautifully right there, just like that. That one there. All right, friends. All I'm going to do is I know it's, it does get, gather its own juice, but I'm going to put just a little extra water in here just to make sure. I don't want it dried out. All right, I'm not going to cover it. I'm just going to leave it in the oven just like that. Is that not beautiful? Okay, when that's done in about an hour, it's going to take these about 50 to 60 minutes to cook. And when that's all done, I'll be back and I'll show you how it looks. 
Okay, friends, I am back and these are done and they are beautiful. And oh my gosh, they smell just fantastic. Okay, so I'm just going to put this on a plate. Each of these, the potatoes are done. Everything looks beautiful. The skin is nice and crispy. These turkey thighs are beautiful. Look at how gorgeous those are. Okay, I'm going to put potatoes and onions with these because I'm just going to put this on the table and we're going to serve it right from the dish. These are beautiful. And the potatoes got a little golden to them. Gorgeous. Absolutely. Got to get that onion in there. I love that onion. It's beautiful. That's hot. This plate is quite warm. Anyway, friends, look at that. Those turkey thighs turned out gorgeous. Nice, crispy herb skin. That butter made it wonderful and crispy. So there you have it. Quite an easy meal. So thanks for watching.